All right, now we are turning to health care and the growing divide between Iowa's urban and rural care centers. A new report by the nonpartisan economic nonprofit Common Sense Institute Iowa found that over a third of Iowa hospitals operated at a loss in 2022. In fact, over the last 15 years, 250 more health care facilities in Iowa have closed than have opened, and most of those are concentrated in rural areas. Joining us now to discuss this is the report's main author, Chelsea Lensing, a professor of economics at Coe College in Cedar Rapids. Chelsea, thank you so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me, Shelby. Well, there's so many things in this report that we could dive into, but I want to start with primary care providers. We know that access to PCPs is decreasing across the state. Mm -hmm. I mean, even myself, it's taking months to get in to see someone. But is there a difference in that access when it comes to an urban and rural setting? Yeah, there, there absolutely is. And there's a couple ways we measure this. If we just look at dividing our counties between urban and rural, the USDA classifies 77 of our 99 counties as um, rural. And so there's about 17% fewer primary care physicians per capita in those rural counties than in the urban counties. But of course, as we know, there's a wide range of how rural a county is. And so if we look at really the extremes and we take the counties that have, there's 22 of our counties that have more than, um, or that have 100% of individuals living in a rural community. Um, and we compare that to the counties that have less than 20% of the individuals living in rural communities. There's about double the number of primary care physicians, even after adjusting on a per capita basis in those um, more urban areas than there are in our extremely rural counties. So there's a really big divide there and it's increasing over time. Um, so over the last 10 years, we've seen a decrease in primary care physicians per capita of about 1% in our urban counties, but that decrease has, has been about 8% in our rural counties. And so this, this divide is getting even bigger, unfortunately. Hmm, compounding on itself. You know, in that report, you also found that rural Iowa has 17% fewer physicians per capita than in urban areas. I mean, what does that do to a community? What is, it, what is the impact of that? Um, yeah, so we did not specifically look at the link to, to health outcomes. That in itself is hopefully going to be you know, a, another additional report. But even just looking at the access side of things, this means that people are traveling further to get the care that they need, or like you mentioned, um, it's going to be increasing wait times. And so the effect on the direct effects on health outcomes, it was outside the scope of this report, but is definitely in an area of, of future consideration and research. Well, let's talk about drug overdoses specifically. What did your report find on the differences between deaths in urban versus rural areas? Um, yeah, so as I mentioned, we focused primarily on the healthcare system, but there was one health outcome we felt it was important to identify because it's so directly related to our healthcare system, and that is the rate of premature deaths. And premature deaths have been increasing, unfortunately, across the country, and Iowa is no exception to that, especially since the pandemic. We've seen these rates really growing, and they're growing at faster rates for our rural counties, for our rural communities. Um, a previous report also done by Common Sense Institute focused on the on Iowa in the context of the opioid um, pandemic epidemic um, with, with fentanyl overdoses. And what we have seen is that these, op these overdoses um, due to, you know, to fentanyl and to other opioids is one of the driving forces of the increase in premature death rates. And so again, we identified as a future area of research of really figuring out and diving in on how much of the change or how much of the difference between our rural and urban premature death rates is indeed driven by um, drug overdoses. All right, so we know this is a problem. We know there is a large divide that's getting larger between urban and rural settings. So what's being done about it? I mean, your report kind of looked at how Iowa lawmakers are responding to this. What did you find? Uh, yeah, we identified quite a variety of recent laws that have been implemented in the states. Um, a lot of them have to do with encouraging the supply of healthcare, either facilities or providers. A couple examples of those would be uh, family medicine fellowships. And so it's awarding education for individuals who are willing to then come practice in rural communities for five years. Um, we're also decreasing, the, the state legislature is trying to decrease barriers through licensing, so being 
being more flexible if you're coming to practice from out of state and you have a non-Iowa license, making it easier to start practicing in our state, um, decreasing non-competes specifically for mental health care providers. And so you can go open your own business without worrying about the, the non-competes. Um, and another example would be capping the malpractice awards from a legal perspective to, again, decrease the risk taken on by providers and try and encourage a, a stronger supply of, of health care for our citizens. Chelsea, I cannot thank you enough for your time today. It was a really eye-opening report. You guys did incredible research, and I'm so thankful for the time that you gave us. Thank you. I appreciate you having me on. And we will have the full report on Iowa's growing rural versus urban divide and health care available up on our website.